hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm doing another speed building video so this is hillcrest avenue and it's a modern not starter like a kind of like a second starter house you can probably move in here after like a few weeks of playing the sims and i really really like the way it turned out it's a really nice modern sleek house it's based in newcrest so i'm kind of at the minute trying to rebuild the worlds but kind of focusing on Newcrest at the minute because it's the empty world. Um, so it's perfect house for Newcrest, that's where it is built. Um, it's built on the 30 by 20 lot, I think it's called Fern Park. Um, and yeah, I really, really like the way it turned out. It really fits in with Newcrest. So when Newcrest kind of came out, I never actually built anything for the world, like just solely for Newcrest. I always just downloaded my old build and then put them in Newcrest and it didn't really fit with like the theme and so I decided you know what I'm, go I'm gonna build my own little new crest kind of like a save file but not but I kind of do want to do a save file but yeah <laughs> but anyway so this is Hillcrest Avenue it's got three no it hasn't it's got two bedrooms and one bathroom um and yeah it's a really cozy sm small modern little house it's basically like a rectangle with like a, another rectangle on the side and so this was built from a reference picture i found it on pinterest and i absolutely fell in love because since i've been doing my youtube channel i haven't actually built any of the houses that i would originally build for my sims and with this i really got to go back to what i liked building i mean everything i do post i do like i, I wouldn't want to ever put anything on my channel that I wasn't happy with or that I didn't like but this is my preferred kind of style and I'm really happy that I got to build it and then I get to share it because it is a really really cool build it turns out really really nice and it's like a really futuristic kind of house so as you all notice I've covered the whole of the terrain I didn't do any terrain manipulation or anything like that I didn't use any of the paints or whatever I completely covered it with concrete and then I actually used the grass floor tile and create like fake grass because I imagine that the people that lived here were really like modern and sleek and neat and they didn't want to like have real grass they want to have the grass that you can like hoover because you can actually get grass like that now um but that's what i kind of envisioned when i was building this so you will see that i've put a wall on the right hand side of the build like in the middle of the fence and i will actually create a balcony in a second for that but this house actually has two kind of balconies well technically three um but none of them are actually in use so we have the one on the side which is like the upper little rectangle and that actually turns into the stairwell so as i said this was built from a reference picture and so i just copied the like the front of the house and this is where this little like brick wall kind of bit comes in and i didn't know what i was going to make it i just thought i was just going to have it like as an empty like completely like not a livable room um, just for like decoration but I actually turned it into the stairwell and it was actually the perfect size for the stairs to go in so it was really really handy that I could use the other space for like the bedrooms and the stuff and I didn't have to worry about the staircase being in the middle of it so I really really liked that it kind of fitted in perfectly and the balcony at the front don't really go out there there's nothing out there um i didn't even put a door out there it was just windows just because i prefer the look of the windows instead of the door and the balcony on the right i tried so hard in the floor plan to put a door in to go out to the balcony but the way that the floor plan turned out it was really difficult for me to try and like put a door in that wasn't like in the way so the balcony that side is kind of where the one bedroom and one and the bathroom is and i didn't want the door to be in the bathroom to go out onto the balcony and when i was trying to put it in in the in the bedroom it just i wanted to be able to put the bed on like the feature wall and the wall that you could see like easy for gameplay and if I wanted to do that, I couldn't have the door. And yeah, so there isn't a door basically. So if you want to add a door, you can add a door by any means. But I personally didn't add a door just because it was, it was an annoyance basically. <laughs> but there is a garden in this house, but I don't actually show the furnishing of the garden. I show it a little bit, but I cut quite a lot of it out just because it was kind of boring. There's just some, there's some sofas, there's a barbecue, there's a little flower arranging table, and then there's a swing set. 
which I think I do actually show in this in this part but there is a swing set so one of the bedrooms I didn't actually build it for like a child or a teen it was just kind of like either or um, but teenagers and children can both use a swing set so there is also a swing set in the garden as well but now I'm just putting these windows in from Get Famous and I'm really really happy because I haven't actually used these yet and they're kind of a window that you can't put in like regular builds you can only really put in like modern builds and obviously this was quite a modern build and so I got to use it and I'm really really happy um, and I put this I think it's a dine out wallpaper on the other wall I kind of wish that I kept it to the other brick on the other wall on the other side but I don't know I was kind of testing it out and then I kind of just left it but I think it looks good still but if you want to change it and like kind of match the bricks feel free to do so um but yeah so as you can see I'm just trying to figure out what to do with that little side bit as I said it does go into it does it does go into a stairwell sorry I can't actually speak today um it does go into a stairwell and the stairs fit in there perfectly I really wanted to add the um industrial ones but then um, I, I lean towards the seasons ones because they're still kind of like the industrial ones but just a little bit more modern and sleek um, and as I said I wanted this build to be really like sleek and modern with like fake grass and stuff um, but I do size up a car which I know some people hate it and I know some people don't mind it but I thought that little bit under the balcony was like the perfect place to put a car and in the reference picture that I was using there was a car underneath and so I just thought do you know what if you don't like it you can just delete the car and just have it as I don't know extra space in the driveway I don't really know what you put under there but you can just delete if you don't like it but if you do like it then that's great because I added one um, but now I'm just doing the grass as I said I use the kind of like fake grass and I absolutely love the look that it has like it's just so modern and oh it's just so nice I love it um, and I use like this little fence just to kind of separate it from the concrete and the like, the furnishing the furnishing the gardening wow I need to go to sleep or something the gardening kind of like the plants and stuff I don't go crazy with I just use the standard bushes um in the game and I don't really add any flowers I add the get together I think it's the the toilet bush um because there's two bushes and one of them is the woohoo bush and then one of them is the toilet bush I think it's just the toilet bush but it fitted in perfectly so I didn't obviously use it for the toilet I used it just because it looked nice um but as you can see I just added the little swing set and I add a bird feeder next to it just because I thought it fitted in quite nicely and then I just add two bins I imagine that this family like recycles or whatever so there'll just be one general waste and then like one kind of recycling bin and now I'm just doing this little front area. This is where I put the get to, no, not get to work, get together um, bush that I was talking about. And it just, I love that bamboo tree. It just really brings the house together and makes it look so more modern. Um, but now going into the interior, I did skip over the floor plan because I had quite a lot of like, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it basically. And I was kept on moving the camera and all that. And so I just deleted it, like kept, delete that footage um but if you do want to see my floor plans let me know and I will keep them in in my future builds but for now I'm not sure if people care that I delete like the floor plan process um but yeah so obviously I did do the wallpaper and, and the flooring as well um and I'm just doing the kitchen now and the kitchen I love so basically the whole of the bottom of the build is a very open plan kind of room <laughs> so the kitchen and the lounge and the kind of dining area are all in the same room and upstairs is where the two bedrooms and the bathroom is and I really liked that it was all very open because it just felt really like breezy <laughs> um I don't know I just I just like having open plan houses like this I personally like to plan it myself um and so yeah I, I kept it very open um but as you can see the whole house is very black and white and so basically the whole house is black and white but there's touches of color here and there that kind of make it just more interesting to look at so it's not completely like black and white but i add like really colorful rugs and just little bits that like pull it together so it's just not like so empty and bare 
um but i kind of like having like doing this like having a black and white house and then like pops of color here and there I personally like that style, I mean if you don't then that's fine, but that's kind of what I went with with this build. Um, but now I'm just kind of like utilising the under like stair area and I just add like a little computer and an art easel and there's a bin as well underneath the stairs and that's actually the only bin that's in this like inside, like that's the kitchen bin kind of thing. I was about to say that's the only bin in this house but there is obviously the two bins outside as well. Um, but I didn't want to add a bin to the kitchen because I'd placed everything so perfectly and it all fitted in and I don't know, you can just use that bin for your kitchen waste. I mean, it's not exactly far, it's not like it's like it's an open plan room so it's not like you have to go through doors and stuff to use the bin. Um, but now I'm just doing the lounge room and I used the same sofa that I used in my penthouse build. absolutely love this sofa, it's such a nice sofa. It's one of the only like good sofas that are like normal sofas in the game because I've, I've mentioned this before like some of the sofas are like proper crazy and I wouldn't really like use them um and so I will definitely be using this sofa a lot more in my game just because I absolutely love it and you can see that I've used the chairs from City Living and although this sofa does have matching armchairs I didn't want to use them just because they didn't really fit with the rest of the room and so these ones from City Living they're kind of like minimalist I can't even say the word properly um, they're just very sleek and modern basically and they went really well and I was trying to find a rug that kind of matched with the pink um, because I originally was going to do like the pink armchairs but then I decided do you know what let's just do them all white and let's find a rug that matches them and like kind of ties the room together and that's kind of like the pop of colour and I found this rug which oh, is so it's so good like the orange in it matches the wood underneath the fireplace and the blue is like a pop of colour and then there's the black and white and I just really love this rug and the way that I found it is I went onto the like tags kind of thing and I selected all the colours for the rugs and then that way you can see every single like swatch of rug that there is in the game instead of like clicking on a rug and then going through the swatches individually. I just personally like doing that when I'm selecting a rug because there's so many different swatches on like different rugs and I just prefer doing that so that's how I did that and I did that upstairs as well um, so you'll see the process again if you missed it but it's not really a hard process so yeah all you, all you do is you just select all of the different colours and then you can see all the swatches. But now moving on, I'm just gonna clutter the little coffee table and I picked the coffee table from, I think it's the luxury patio stuff. I don't know, I don't really ever use that inside the houses, but I felt with the kind of look that I was going for that it suited well. Um, and then just as you come in through the front door, I did put a little bookcase. I say a little bookcase, but it's actually one of the biggest bookcases in the game. Um, it's from City Living, and it really annoys me how it like clips the wall. Um, a couple of items do this in the game. The I think it's a Seasons one, the Seasons bookcase also does this. Um, but I do actually move it so it doesn't like clip in, and so it looks like better um but i did actually skip over all the cluttering of that just because i was struggling on what to find to put on there um but i am now just moving on and doing the little curtain here so i didn't know where to put curtains or blinds i did actually really want to put the city living curtains because i thought they looked really really cool but i decided you know what no i'm just gonna put a blind just because i feel like it looks better um and so yeah i just put the blind from my first pet stuff I think I don't know they're the best blinds that we currently have in the game and I just sized it down and then made it a nice little grey colour but now moving on to the upstairs we're now doing the bathroom so this is what I meant by like the Jack and Jill kind of bathroom so this bathroom obviously has the two doors from one bedroom and then another door to the other bedroom um, and I just put a shower and a toilet and all the normal like bathroom stuff that you would put in a bathroom in here I didn't want to put like a shower and bath like together so I did separate them and I used the bath from fitness stuff I believe um, and then I do just clutter up the bathroom I had a little rug by the bath as I always do and I do put this um, plant in from Dine Out and it just fits so perfectly with this bathroom just the colour of the leaves and I just think it looks so 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 nice um, and so I just add that and then just some little just decorational things and then I did this thing with the shelves and 
at first I was going to cut them up but then I kind of remembered what kind of house I was building and so I deleted that and then I just added like two shelves um, and then put like a few items on there so I put like a little plant pot, some tissues, I put some lotions as well and I think I put a candle, no I don't, I put the incense holder thing from Spa Day when Spa Day came out I always put that like little smelly object it's not a smelly object the little like the incense thing so like they get like a nice mood from it um i always just put that in my builds but i don't know i don't really use it as much anymore so i did put it in this build so when they sit in the bath they can just light it it's like a candle they can just light the candle and yeah um and as you can see i also put them stones from spa day on the bath as well i love them ones because they like go up in color like from white to black and like with the gray in the middle it's just really really nice um but now i'm moving on to the bedroom so I didn't know what I wanted to do originally with this and I do actually change the wallpaper in to the plain white so the pure expressions wallpaper that is used in the rest of the house and also in the exterior and it just wasn't going on like very well it didn't mix very well um, so I do actually switch that um, and then I was just trying to decide on which dresser and I went with the one from City Living although it's got like pink feet I still think it looks pretty cool and then I use another painting from Get Famous, I use them paintings all throughout the build but obviously in different swatches I didn't want to keep it all to the same swatch um, and then I just go around and clutter up the bedroom, I had the new lamps from, uh, where's it from, Get Famous um, and yeah when they've got like the actual like white light not the yellowy light they look really really good so I did actually change that when I was like doing the screenshots I changed it to white and then when I uploaded it to the gallery it will be like nice and white lights throughout the whole entire house because I just think it looks better than like the yellowy kind of tints of lights and now I'm just doing the same thing that I did with the downstairs with the rugs I'm trying to decide on what rug to do and I actually ended up going with the one that I've put down in the first place um it's kind of like a, it looks like a really old like rug it's been like passed down um, but I don't know, I really liked it and I felt like it went really, really well with this room. And I just added some little curtains and this is where I think I'm going to go in and change the wallpaper in. Just so it's nice, big and open and yeah. So now moving on to the second bedroom, which as I said, I didn't really have like a person in mind. So it wasn't like a boy or a girl or a child or a teenager. It was just kind of like another bedroom. Um, so you can create whichever kind of scene you want and put them in here. Um, and I really like the way this bedroom turns out. I struggled decorating it because I kind of wanted to clutter it, but then I didn't want it to be the only cluttered room in the house, so I did end up leaving it. Um, but yeah, it turns out really nice. I do this like wall paneling with like a really like blue, and I just think it turns out really really cute. And then I add that um, bowling bowling stuff, bowling bowling alley stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. That um, lamp. I actually love that lamp. Um, and then in this room I also add a desk, so there's two computers in the house, there's one downstairs, um, underneath the stairs, and there's one in this room, um, just because there's something else to do, and I didn't want to put like children toys in there, like just because if you didn't have a child or whatever. But we have reached the end of this speed building video, as always if you guys do like my content please subscribe and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!